Hi. I'm going to play the waltz from the Trinity Grade 2 book for 2020. So it's Waltz written by Dionisio Aguado, who was a Spanish guitarist and composer for guitar um, in the early um, 19th century. Um, it's a really quite a simple sounding little waltz um, and your key challenges here are playing changing positions from open position up to third position to play the B and the D here instead of from the open string. So stretching up your little finger to play an F sharp. Okay. Um, that's in the first section. You've got nothing to worry about dynamically. It's just all played at mezzo forte um, at a tempo of you, you're given 112 crotchets, which is pretty much what I just played at. Um, so really, that's just your issue of using your hand to move up and down here. You're using index, middle and thumb in this hand for the whole section and your fingers are just fitting under those three strings there, strings two, three and four. Now in the second section we're going to play the first four bars mezzo piano and you have an option as to whether to carry on playing thumb, index, middle and if you're going to do that you need to move to start with the first set bit. Um, index middle on strings 1 and 2 and thumb on string 3 and then you're going to come back to playing the next bar on strings 2, 3 and 4 um, and then back again remember to play that G with, um, at the 5th fret on the 4th string and then you have what's called a chromatic movement instead of going with the notes from the key and then the last line is exactly the same as the second line. Um, so the third line you can play like as I just did or you can perhaps experiment with using your fingers thumb index middle four strings, so in the first bar you're on strings one, two and three, so middle, A, index and then middle and A together. We come up here then it's index, middle, thumb, index, middle together and back. And then index and middle on the chromatic slide. And then we finish off as we were in the first half. And lastly, the end of the first section, bar eight, you've got um, two rests, so we're stopping the sound after one beat, we've sort of got a little um, pause, and the same at the very end of the piece, we're stopping after the first beat in the in the bar. So we're left with a little bit of space, uh, and a small, in, a, in a smaller way at the end of the first line, we've left with one bar of one beat of space. Um, repeats as normal um, in grade exams, we won't play the repeats in the exam because they're identical and quite long sections, so you would just play this straight through. Um, I don't think I've got much else to say on it, if anything, I haven't, so I hope you enjoy practicing on.